So uh, I think it's not necessarily one in the books, but I like it. And if he calls like any indifferent catchers here, I'm proud of him. I think it's uh, not good against pretty much anyone in the pool to call like an, I don't know, anything pretty much. Top right, pocket seven this is a pure call here. A pretty nice spot to check race now. Um, bottom left, obviously the top set, uh, eight, it's an okay-ish card. Um, I keep barreling 75% here. He could have a straight, I don't know. Um, it just means that I do not go crazy with size ups. Um, this is obviously a very bad card and a half pot donk from someone who is uh, marked as a super nit. Um, it's just before we think of anything else, we have plenty of flush draws, flushes, we have plenty of 9x, so uh, we just fold. And this here is a pretty nice uh, check race spot. Um, sometimes call, sometimes check race, uh, but I like check, check raising here a lot. It allows you to have bluffs on runouts that are very, very good. Um, like a nine, like a five, like a four. Falling out something like ace jack right away, that obviously has six outs against us. And that 10 of spades is interesting. I do have plenty of flush draws that I'm check raising. I'm not sure about the sizing. I think we can still use that sizing with our sets and our flushes. Yeah, now he should start folding something like king queen without a spade. Obviously we are sometimes running into nuts now. That sucks. And now uh, we are maybe check raising some ace x of spades. So now the question is what are our best river bluffs i'm blocking seven eight of spades which you might have and that's about it uh, but i'm unblocking all folds so let's be crazy splashy hour let's go for a bluff that uh, most people do not find so uh, i think it's not necessarily one in the books but i like it and if he calls like <laughs> any indifferent catchers here i'm proud of him i think it's uh, not good against pretty much anyone in the pool to call like an I don't know, anything pretty much. That is not very, 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 very strong and beats value. I'm not continuing with something like random four or five on the turn. <laughs> the, the ace 10 offsuit, right? That's the ace of spade. Actually, this would be the only, yeah, it's like, it's like the re reverse thing, right? Um, he's pretty much only blocking the, the bluffs. It's like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> He went for a light flop flo float, then turned something and then cannot let it go. Um, which obviously is okay. Oh, it's fancy. So this just gets the not gonna fold tag. This was a special hand he found there. Ace-10 offsuit. I really want to, want to run the sim for that hand later on. This should be like mainly a fold on the flop. Obviously calling the turn, the turn call is the easy part. And on the river it's like, how good is the ace of spades? What am I supposed to bluff? Do I start bluffing something like ace queen offsuit on the flop sometimes, just to have a nut blocker on those runouts? And yeah, it should be more telling him that I'm just sitting on the set all the time if he has the ace of spades. But obviously it's like, yeah, he just needs to find some random bluffs like the one I had. And he did, so uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, it was not a random hand he did call down. Jack eight bottom left. Um, I mean, ten nine gets there. This there. Uh, flush. Draw. I mean, I think I can get away with an overbet. Target him right away. Uh, lots of runouts. Good from my range. Ten six four. Sometimes betting. Sometimes checking. A row check this time. Bottom left. Queen six suited. Always betting. Now our eight, nine eight is should be a pretty pretty mandatory stab. Uh, we do have equity against anything given our nut outs and even uh, we still have six outs against the six x or four x so uh, we want to realize that equity uh, now hit that he snap calls i think i prefer to bet small again even though it's super super thin yeah six x four x should be enough he obviously has king x as well uh yeah king seven that's not not worrying about that uh because the other option would be to check call. I don't like the check fold option really. So I think I get the most out of that hand, deciding the sizing you know, myself. Uh, seven, eight, nine, uh, my queen six of spades here. Um, yeah, I mean, we have a flush, we keep betting. King, queen, jack six here. Um, I'm not sure how much I should be over betting, how sure, after a small bet, I can be pretty sure that he did not that, that he fast plays lots of things. I think that's like one of the boards where people have lots of call call folds and I'm not sure how, how much I love bluffing in general there all the way. 
just given all the king tens, queen tens, jack tens, where they need to find some some river calls. Um, and now, unfortunately, the Su 500 pool seems to be breaking again. So it's still seven entries, so I can run one table, but I uh, need to replace the other one. Pocket kings, bottom left against the limp. It's hoping for some action, Mingla 22. Nope. Go for a decent sizing here. Six six big blinds seems reasonable. Snap call more or less. Um, for it, not perfect. Uh, let's still go for a small seabed there out of position. Keep the pot under control. Not expecting any raises to be honest. I'll call four batting bottom right. Um, A six suited bottom right. I mean, definitely, I can actually min C bet against his pockets. Uh, yeah, small my flooding range is either, either Broadway or pocket. And um, now I think he has two pair most of the time, and now sometimes both. But I just take the sizing where I'm sure that, uh, that uh, an ace calls, and um, yeah, actually, something like queen 10 is not even a race here. Nice, so let's place those tables. And he ended up calling with East Jack suited. So yeah, nice. Pretty, pretty face up. It seems like Zoom 500 is actually really dead. So uh, let's call it a day there. This guy on the bottom right has a decent stack there. 835 bigs, that looks nice. Top right, Ace, Queen, uh, Jack 5-3, cold calling, 40 bigs. Uh, here I check back actually. Um, I can expect some quite, quite some check jams. I don't want to fold out my my six outs to a top pair. Um, yeah, let's go from there and, and react to what whatever he does. Ace queen suited bottom left is a clear call against that sizing. And then, uh, yeah, let's see, uh, five dollars. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. I still have four kind of nut outs. I might be ahead actually. Uh, that sizing is a little confusing. Um, and yeah, check. I'm just checking back, hoping for some king queen, eight, nine, who knows. Ace King, wow, he got me there. <laughs> okay, uh, Ace Queen suited, I'm going to call one here. Uh, Jack is a decent card for my range, obviously not for my hand, improves like the last bluffs that didn't that uh, didn't have me beat already. Like his Ace Jack, King Jack suited he might have, and yeah, we have a clear fold. Now somehow everything froze. Yeah, something something seems off. Let's let's just wrap it up here. I think we got enough stuff here. Um, check. Whatever. Oh, I'll just play that set here. 